Good morning, y'all. It's not really a good morning in the Sea household this morning, but good morning to y'all anyways. Last night, me and Cameron collectively got zero sleep. Um, if you remember, he went to bed several hours before me last night, but he told me that he had a really hard time falling asleep. And then whenever I came in, after finishing my IVs, I came upstairs probably around 2.30ish and woke it woke him up and neither of us could fall asleep. It was 4 a.m. Neither of us could fall asleep, so we ended up deciding just like to get up. He took a shower and a bath and I just kind of hung out with him in there like I didn't get in the water or anything. I just kind of like sat on the floor and talked with him. And we're, I can't speak for him, but I'm sure he's absolutely exhausted right now since he's gone to work. <coughs> well, I think he's at a doctor's appointment right now and then going to work after. I know for me, I completely slept through my 8 a.m. IV, which is ridiculous considering I had <coughs> three alarms set. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and, but it, it happened. I slept through it. I got on my 7 a.m., but <coughs> once it came time for my 8 a.m., my body was just not getting up. And I'm just, my lungs are killing me right now. Absolutely killing me. But unfortunately, I don't really get to rest today. Like I want to, I'm still staying home all day, but I don't get to rest. We're having the Xfinity people come to set up Wi-Fi in a couple hours. So I'll have to be up and present and helpful for that. And they're going to be here for two to four hours. And then tonight, all my friends are... Sorry for the jump clip. Cameron actually just called me and confirmed. Feels awful. <coughs> Absolutely exhausted. He's probably going to skip tennis tonight because of it. But, as I was saying, tonight my friends are coming over. And we're doing Taco Tuesday. We usually try to get together every Tuesday and go to a Mexican restaurant and get tacos and just kind of catch up. Most of the time I'm not able to go because I'm not feeling good. But this time they decided that everyone was just going to bring some stuff and we were just going to do it at my house. This will also be the first time they see my house since we've gotten here, which is exciting. But I have a lot of cleaning to do because it's a wreck. But... Yeah, I already checked my temperature and it's 99.8. Not surprised, but it's just, I have a feeling it's gonna be a really long and really rough day. <laughs> like right now where I really wish that I just didn't have the limitations that I have because all I've really done today so far is walk Winnie, heat up food, leftovers from last night so I didn't even really cook, eat, upload my video, um, help the Xfinity guy just show him where I wanted um, the router set up, um, do dishes, light cleaning downstairs, not even anything heavy, and I'm just in so much freaking pain. My fluoresce, I'm assuming it's my fluoresce, just starting to act up again, and then my back hurts from coughing so much, but I just have to finish, like I have a bunch of clothes that, and laundry that I need to get done, and I made up the guest room for the first time ever since we moved in. And I need to just make up our bed and stuff like that. Just get the house <coughs> prepared. 
presentable, but I feel horrible. All I wanna do right now is take some pain medication and lay on the couch and just not move for the rest of the day, but I can't cancel plans. I, I, I wanna see my friends, I really do, and I think it'll be really good for my like sanity to see them, but physically like, Jesus take the wheel like I want nothing more than to just knock out but unfortunately I just don't have that as an option right now I mean I I do I know they wouldn't judge me if they came over and the house was the downstairs is nice but like if the upstairs was a mess and things weren't put together but for myself like I still want to have a nice home I want to be able to have people be impressed and be like oh look at her killing it at the housewife gang um gang I'm in game maybe I am in a gang who knows but it's just really annoying because my body says one thing my mind says one thing and my heart says another and it's just my friends are great they really are and that's why they're coming to me I don't live too close to any of them um, and they're coming out of their way to come see me at my house to make me more comfortable and so they can still see me and I can still be participating yet that doesn't stop the fact that I feel horrible and whenever I feel horrible I tend to isolate myself and that's kind of what I want to do right now but I'm not I'm not gonna let myself I'm not gonna let myself because when I start isolating myself that's whenever my depression starts getting worse and I'm not gonna let that have the power so I'm not gonna take any pain medication other than like I'll take some a leave but I'm not gonna take anything any stronger I'm gonna take a bunch of a leave real quick go make another cup of coffee and then just try and tackle these clothes because honestly that's all I have left to do is laundry and then I can rest until for like the next few hours until everyone gets here <laughs> what girls night looks like on taco night <laughs> we have our chicken tacos we've got shrimp options we've got gluten-free options dairy-free options because we all have dietary restrictions uh, okay. yes, you don't need to be eating dairy either. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but, it's yeah, so, night. so, taco night's commencing, so let's go, as the great Miley Cyrus once said, let's go, G and <laughs> Well, all my friends are gone now, and it's safe to say that taco night was a huge success. I can't explain how glad I am that I ended up just like sucking it up even though I didn't feel good and not canceling plans and letting everyone come over <coughs> because it's been like a month since I had seen and hung out with my friends because we've all been traveling well yeah I went on a trip with my family and then before I got back two of them went to Europe for a few weeks and then one of my other friends is just really busy with work so it's just we haven't been able to get together and see each other in probably like a month now. So it was good just to be able to have some girl time and just sit around and talk and laugh. It was really needed for my mental health, to be honest. Like, I just kind of, I needed it. And I didn't realize how much I would need it until they were here. But Cameron is now home, up, getting ready for bed now. So now it is on to the more important topic bachelorette finale worst part about taco tuesday was that i haven't been able to watch it yet <coughs> and of course cameron's going to bed again so i have to watch it by myself and react by myself my dad's been texting me uh not realizing that i wasn't watching it has been texting me about it and i keep telling him like don't give me any spoilers just stop i haven't seen it yet but now i'm just gonna go ahead and say good night to y'all so i can just focus on the bigger issue at hand here bachelorette finale but I'll see y'all again tomorrow hopefully I'll still be in good spirits my body is aching 
but it's not since I'm in a good mood it seems like it's nothing that I can't deal with because <clears throat> I think a lot of how you feel is there's the mental with the physical and although my physical is not great right now still like at all my fever keeps going up a little bit I just checked it again and my lungs are just tight and I was having a lot of coughing attacks when my friends are here but it's just it's like throwing my back out pretty much <clears throat> but since I'm in a good mood I'm not wanting to complain too much I'm just wanting to soak up the moment in the night that I've had and hopefully will continue to have as long as Hannah B chooses the right person on the finale but anyways I will see y'all tomorrow good night y'all